everyone. Welcome to your circuit, pulse, and Tabata class. We are going to focus on upper body today. This class is perfect for anyone who loves strength training. You're going to need a set of medium weights. I'm going to use eight pound weights as my mediums. And then you need a set of heavy weights. Now I'm using 20 pound weights for my heavies because it's all I have access to, but I might recommend going a little lower than what your typical heavy is. Ideally, I would be doing this with a set of 15 pound weights for my heavies. But of course, adjust the weights and use whatever works for you. I also have a 10 pound weight on hand just in case I need to drop down from my 20s. This class is broken up into two strength circuits and then we finish with a quick four minute Tabata Blast. In each of the strength circuits, I'm gonna give you five exercises. You go through them using an interval structure of 30 seconds of the full range exercise, followed by 15 seconds of pulsing in that exercise, and then you rest for 15 seconds before moving on to the next exercise in the circuit. When you complete a circuit, you get 30 seconds to recover, but of course you can pause the video and take longer if needed, and you're gonna complete three sets of each of those circuits. For the Tabata, I give you two exercises and you alternate between the two using an interval structure of 20 seconds of work, 10 seconds of rest. In these classes, usually in the Tabata, I add in some jumping, but today we're keeping it all low impact, so there is no jumping at any point throughout this whole class. However, while the circuits really focus on strength and challenging ourselves with the weight choices, the Tabata is body weight and we will add in an element of speed. In between each of those chunks, you get a minute to rest. So it's circuit one, rest for a minute, circuit two, rest for a minute, finish with the Tabata. We'll start class with a guided warm up focused on mobility and we will finish with a cool down. You do not need any equipment for our warm up. Let's start in a kneeling position. If it's okay for your knees, if this is uncomfortable, you could sit in a cross legged position as well. And I want us to start class with just some deep diaphragmatic breathing. Breathing deeply and correctly helps us activate our transverse abdominis. And we also just wanna make sure that we're not trapping our breath in our shoulders. We're about to do a lot of upper body work and we don't want any unnecessary tension through our neck and shoulders. So in a relaxed position, I want you to inhale deeply through the nose. And as you do, think of expanding your rib cage to the sides. Now you're gonna exhale out through the mouth like you're blowing out a birthday candle. And as you do so, your rib cage is gonna move gently in and down. Inhale through the nose. So as you inhale, you're not getting that breath trapped in your shoulders. They shouldn't be shrugged up to your ears. And as you exhale, there's a gentle engagement through the abdominal wall, gentle lift through the pelvic floor. Two more just like that. And from here, palms reach forward. I want you to extend your arms out to the side. I want you to make fists with your hands, really clench them. And then I want you to open up through the palms, stretch those fingers wide and continue to do that. Squeeze, release, squeeze and stretch. We're gonna be gripping weights for a lot of this class. So it's nice to just move those hands and those fingers a little bit, warming them up. Three more last time. Now arms reach out in a T shape. I want you to twist over to the right. Stay for an inhale. And then as you exhale, maybe you twist a little deeper, but don't force it. Now take that left hand to the outside of your right knee. And with this back right arm, I want you to start tracing arm circles. Stay within your twist as you do it. I'm going to do it with a bent elbow so that I don't hit my couch, but you could keep your arms straight for it. Think of sitting up nice and tall as if you could increase the space between your vertebrae and just switch direction of those circles. You're gonna stretch your arms out in a T-shape, come back through center, same thing, over to the left. Exhale, twist. Inhale to stay. Maybe your next exhale brings you a little deeper into the twist. Right hand to the outside of that left knee, and let's trace arm circles with that back left arm. Again, straight arm or bent elbow if space is an issue like it is for me. So mobilizing through that shoulder joint here and just switch direction of the circles.
stretch those arms out straight, come back through center, and then when you lift up all the way onto your knees, I'm just gonna turn to face the side. So we have a little hip hinge tricep opener combo here. I want you to reach your arms up overhead, and then I want you to bend the elbows, flip your palms, and kind of pat yourself on the back, straighten those arms back up, and then you're gonna hinge the hips as the hips slide back, your arms sweep back, give me a tricep kick back here, bend the elbows, arms come forward, extend them out. So we're gonna keep that going, we come up tall, bend the elbows, straighten out, hinge, bend, extend. So keep going at your own pace. All motions that we will see in our strength portion of this class, just doing it body weight here in the warm up to get everything moving and ready for the weight. Twice more. And then I want your hands to come down to the mat, come to tabletop position for me. I want you to really spread out through the fingers and let's just take a couple quick cat cows. On an inhale, gaze shifts slightly up. On an exhale, round the spine, push the mat away. Keep moving with your breath. One last time. And then I want you to elongate through the spine and find neutral. From here, you're gonna tuck your toes under and I want you to bring your knees to a one inch hover. So we're gonna do some more shoulder uh, mobility and strengthening in a second, but I also want us to really activate the core in this warm up. that's important. So in this position, we think about maintaining a neutral spine, reach your tailbone and the top of the head long, gentle bracing through the abdominal wall, and then can you maintain the shape of your spine as your shoulder blades start to retract and protract? So they're sliding in towards each other, retract, and they slide wide, protract. Three more. Last time. And then I want you to step those legs back into a plank position. From this plank position, we're gonna bend the knees as you slide the hips back, and then straighten the legs, shoot it forward. So let's just build a little warmth in the body here. Slide it back and forward. Don't rush it, but you can have a steady pace here. Three more. Last time. Hips go up, downward facing dog. From here, I want you to walk your hands in towards your feet. You're gonna roll up vertebrae by vertebrae. And I'm gonna show you a preview of our first circuit. Okay, I'll be using my eight pound weights for this circuit. First exercise is going to be a shoulder press variation. You shoulder press wide, you lower the arms, circle them around and then with your palms facing you, you do a shoulder press narrow in front. The pulse will be with the elbows wide, little pulse up and down. From there, another combo, it is going to be a snow angel, overhead and down, and then a wide biceps curl. We pulse in that wide biceps curl. Third move is going to be a reverse grip row. So your palms face forward, you're in a hinged position, row. And then you come upright and you give me a bicep curl. We will pulse in that hinged position with the reverse grip row. Fourth move is a reverse fly to a tricep circle. Notice that my palms are rotating. So when I do the reverse fly, they're facing in towards each other. And then as I circle them behind my back, my palms flip up towards the ceiling. The pulse on this one will be behind your back, palms facing up. Final move is gonna be a tricep kickback in that hinge position. You finish with your arms straight and you would just pulse down and up. 30 seconds full range, 15 second pulses, 15 seconds of rest, then you move on to the next exercise. Don't worry, I'm gonna guide you through it. I know that was a lot, let's get to it. All right, first exercise is going to be that shoulder press. If you feel yourself sinking into your low back, you have the option to stagger your feet one kind of behind the other. So it's a wide shoulder press, palms face forward, bring it down, circle those palms around, now they face you, press up narrow, wide, narrow. I'm gonna take that staggered stance. We wanna maintain a neutral pelvis here. Don't lose connection to your rib cage when the arms go overhead, so you're not flaring open through them. The pulse is going to be in your wide shoulder press, 
So then goal post position with those arms. Find goal post position, 15 seconds, it's a little pulse. You could also alternate right and then left as a modification. Your best modification for all this work though, use lighter weights. 15 seconds to rest. Okay, coming up next is going to be that wide bicep curl into the snow angel. So kind of transitioning from shoulders into biceps. Palms face forward, wide bicep curl, snow angel. So you're making a circle, your elbows aren't locked out, bring them back down. The pulses here will be in the wide bicep curl. Kind of like a windshield wiper. Here we go, 15 seconds, little pulses. Palms face forward, but you can see your hands in your peripheral vision, so they're not so wide. Fifteen seconds to rest. So third exercise, it is going to be that bicep curl, and then we hinge the hips, reverse grip row. So palms face forward. Hips hinge, row it there, bicep curl. The pulse here will be in that hinge position with the row. All right, drive those elbows back and it's a little pulse, pulse. Think of initiating the pulse by slightly retracting your shoulder blades. So it comes more from the back and less from the elbows. 15 seconds to rest. Okay, now still focused in on the back, we do back and triceps. So it's gonna be that fly with that tricep circle. You'll be in the hinge position the whole time. So slide those hips back, long neutral spine. Reverse fly, circle, flip the palms up, weights tap behind you, bring them in front. Make sure you're not tucking the tailbone under, but you're also not hyperextending into that low back. So your abdominals are working here. The pulse is going to be with the arms behind you and you'll kind of tap the weights in towards each other. So find that position, arms behind you, you squeeze them in, in. Woo! And rest. Woo! All right, one exercise to go. Tricep kickbacks, palms will face in towards each other. The pulses are tough with the eight pound weights. <laughs> So we'll find that hinged position again. And then from here, elbows stay back. It's the forearms kicking and coming forward. Straighten the arms, fists come forward. Tricep kick back. Now I don't want you to use momentum, so you're not just swinging the weights, okay? Pause, kill the momentum, bring it in. Pause and in. You have one more round of pulsing to get through. Arms are gonna be straight. And you're just gonna lift those straight arms up and down. Palms stay facing in towards each other. Brought across those collarbones, let's go. Arms are straight, you lower them and lift them. Lower and lift. Oh, okay, you have 30 seconds to rest. We're done with our first time through the circuit. We're gonna go through that twice more for a total of three times. So kind of assess where you were with the weights. You should be challenged, um, but your form shouldn't be totally sloppy. If form is slipping, you might be going a little too heavy. Why don't you drop down for this next time through? And then the opposite is true. If you weren't challenged, go a little heavier. We're gonna start with that shoulder press wide and then narrow. I'm gonna take my staggered stance, do what works for you. All right, let's go. Circle them wide, press up narrow. All 
I like to exhale as my arms go overhead so that I don't flare open through my ribs. Helps me connect to my abdominals. Wide shoulder press pulses. Rest. Coming up next, we have that kind of windshield wiper bicep curl into the snow angel arms. Wiggle out those fingers during your 15 seconds of rest. I know it's a long time to be gripping weights, but there's value in working on our grip strength. So embrace the challenge as something that is useful. And I know I talk a lot about that rib cage connection, but it's really important when our arms are going overhead. So that's why I want you to be able to see the weights in your peripheral vision. If they're too wide, you're gonna flare open through your ribs and we don't want that. Wide bicep curl pulses. Up a couple, down a couple. Now it's a pulse, but it's not a bounce. So resist on the way down, resist. Push, resist. Rest. All right, we got that reverse grip row coming up right, bicep curl. I'll face forward for it this round just to give you a different angle. Palm stays forward. Hinge those hips back, row. Upright, squeeze the glutes, bicep curl. The pulse will be in the hinge position with that row. All right, hold the row. Now, you're brought across the collarbone so the shoulder heads aren't rolling forward. It's a tiny pulse and you think of initiating it with your shoulder blades retracting slightly in. Rest. Okay, we got the two tough ones in my opinion to finish. Reverse fly to the tricep circle. Up next, if you need to drop a little lighter in weight for these last two, that is very understandable. Okay, hinge position. Reverse fly, tricep circle, rotating the palms. All right, hold the arms back, palms face up, and you're gonna squeeze the weights in towards each other. Now, if you can't get the arms high enough to actually hit them together, that's okay. Hold them by your sides and just gently squeeze them into the outside of your hips. Rest. Okay, tricep kickbacks coming up next. Palms will face in towards each other. Hinged position, draw the elbows back, and then kick those forearms back straight. And again, it's not a swing, so just for a split second, I want you to pause with the arms straight, kill the momentum. We have a long neutral spine, and you're grounding down through the feet. Knees are not straight, okay, there's a little bend to them. Straight arm pulses coming up to finish. Lower the arms, lift the arms. Rest, 30 seconds. We're gonna go through that circuit one final time. I don't know about you guys, but my straight arm pulses were getting lower and lower and lower. So last time through these exercises coming up and then I'll give you a whole new circuit. We'll be down on the mat for that one and we'll switch to our heavy weights. We start from the top with that shoulder press combo, wide and narrow, neutral pelvis, let's go. 
palms face in, forearms parallel, and then you open it up wide. Circling, rotating at the bottom. The pulse will be wide. Wide, so kind of goal post position, little pulses. If you need to modify, alternate right and left, or just stick with the full range of motion. At any point, if the pulses aren't working for you, just do the full range of motion for 45 seconds instead of switching during those last 15. Rest. Wide bicep curl, shoulder sweep coming up next. Palms face forward. Wide curl, snow angel making that circle. So you'll notice that a lot of the moves in this first circuit are combos. That's so that we kind of gradually shift the focus. We start with shoulders. We then come to this one, which is shoulders and biceps. We then go to the next one, which is biceps and back. We then do back and triceps and we finish with triceps. So that each muscle group kind of gets a move and a half. All right, hold wide in the curl, little pulses. Again, alternate if you need to, or stick with the full range. Make sure you're just slightly unlocked through the knees. That's gonna help you maintain neutral pelvis so we don't sink into our low back. Rest. Reverse grip row, bicep curl with that hinging motion of the hips coming up next. Let's go. When you do that row, don't worry about how high up you get the elbows. Initiate it with that retraction of the shoulder blades, and then there's a slight pull back and up of the elbows. If you try to pull straight up, your shoulders are gonna shrug, and we don't want that. All right, hold that row, little pulses. And 15 seconds to rest. Reverse fly, tricep circle coming up. Hold those arms back, palms face up. Tap those weights in. Oh, hardest 15 seconds of the whole circuit. <laughs> All right, one more move to go. Tricep kickback, we'll finish with those straight arm pulses. And you get new exercises. We're going heavy. Hinge forward. Palms face in towards each other. Elbows back and keep them lifted. Kickbacks. Straight arm pulses, lift and lower to finish. Final 15 seconds. And done, awesome work. Okay, you have a minute to recover. I'm gonna show you our second circuit. Second strength circuit, we are going to be laying on our back on the mat. The first exercise is the only one in which we're gonna use both heavy weights. It's going to be a chest press, the pulse happens at the bottom. 
From there, you drop down to just a single weight. It can either be one of your heavies or have a medium on hand. We'll start by isolating the right arm. It's going to be a combo. It's a narrow chest press to an overhead tricep extension. The pulse is gonna be in that tricep extension. From there, keep the weight in that same hand and it's going to be an ab getup. It's basically just the bottom of a Turkish getup. No pulses on that one, you just do 45 seconds straight. You then do those two movements on the left. Okay, three times through, let's go. All right, both heavies to start. We're down on our backs. It's going to be a chest press. Knees can be bent, feet flat. So at the top of this, your palms are going to be facing forward. Bend the elbows. They're wide, but they come down at a slight angle, kind of like when you do a push-up, okay? Because I don't want the, the elbows to end up by your ears or by your shoulders at the bottom of this. Lower, exhale, press up. So the pulse is tough, okay? And if it's too much, just stay in the full range of motion. Your elbows will be hovering just like an inch off of the floor and you'll pulse from there. All right, find that hover and it's a little pulse. It could even be a hold if you'd prefer. Or again, stick with full range. Almost done with both weights. Just this single exercise. Oh, and done. All right, 15 seconds to rest. So I'm gonna ditch my heavies and I'm just gonna grab my medium. It is going to come into my right arm. And to start, it's gonna be a narrow press. So palm faces in towards midline and then an overhead tricep extension. So you bend the elbow, you press it up. You bend the elbow, press it up. Elbow comes down to your side. Four, or <laughs> I almost said forehead. Fist dips down behind your head. Now the pulses, it's gonna be that tricep work. So if you need to bring your other hand to just kind of as a, ver as a tactile cue to kind of stabilize that elbow, bring it to the back of that right arm and you just bend and press. 15 seconds to rest. All right, so we have an ab get up up next. I want you to straighten your left leg out, right knee stays bent right arm has the weight. Left arm is down on the floor at a 45 degree angle. On an exhale, you push that weight up, come onto your forearm, and then lower down. So yes, this is a core exercise, but it's also for your shoulders. So when you come to the top of this, I don't want you sinking into that bottom shoulder. You're really pressing the floor away. And again, no pulses here. We're just going for 45 seconds. Rest. All right, we're gonna do those same two moves, just switching over to the left arm. Let me move this out of the way, <laughs> safely if possible. All right, we got that narrow press to the tricep, <sighs> work. Elbow drops down by your side, press it up. Bend the elbow, <sighs> straighten. All right, now it's just gonna be that tricep dip down a couple inches, up a couple inches. You can use your right hand to steady the left. And if this is too intense or it bothers your elbow, maybe you just stick with the narrow press. Rest. All right, keep the weight in your left hand. Now your right leg is gonna extend straight, right arm is down on the floor, out at like a 45 degree angle. We'll press up onto that forearm. Left arm is straight, weight points up towards the ceiling. Exhale, look at the weight as you come up. That's gonna help.
and done. Okay, you have 30 seconds to rest. First time through the circuit is complete. We'll start back at the top with that heavy chest press. I know it's not ideal to have to uh, transition between both weights into using just one, but I really want us to start out with a weight that is super challenging because then it's gonna make the following exercises themselves more challenging. So you have that wide chest press up next. Let's go. It's not about how many reps you get in. Go slow. Your goal here is to use the heaviest weight you can, maintaining proper form. Now that pulse is coming up. If the pulse isn't happening, just stay with full range. Okay, I'm absolutely fine with that. Okay, a couple inches off the mat, little pulse, or stay in full range, or maybe you do a combo of both. Maybe it's down, little pulse, and up. Do what works for you. Rest. Okay, ditch these weights. You can drop down to just one of your heavies, or you can come to your medium. We have that narrow press. With the tricep work, right hand has the weight. Narrow press, elbow drops down to your, towards your waist on the outside of it, press it up, dip. Now, if you're sticking with one heavy weight instead of going a little lighter like I am, then you might find that that overhead tricep work is too much. In that case, you could just do the single arm narrow press. Okay, we finish with just that tricep work. Bend the elbow a couple inches, straighten it out. You're supported by really stacking that shoulder down into the mat. Rest. All right, weight is gonna stay in your right hand. Left leg extends out long, left arm down by your side. Slight angle away from your body. Right arm is going to stay straight. Look at the weight as you exhale first and press yourself up. Really push that right foot into the mat. Again, no pulses with this one. You're going 45 seconds straight. If holding the arm straight the whole time is too much, then at the bottom, Add back in one of those narrow presses. And rest. Okay, we're going to switch that weight over to the other side. Narrow press to tricep work coming up. Weight in your left hand. Both knees can be bent. One narrow press, palm faces in towards midline, tricep work. So single arm stuff can be challenging. You might notice that arm wanting to kind of sway right to left. Really try to picture it's almost sandwiched between two walls as you do this. All right, just the tricep work. Other hand can come in for a little bit of support. Notice I just have it against the back side of my arm, just to kind of take out some of that wobble. Rest. All right, coming into that ab get up. Right leg goes straight, right arm down on the floor at a 45 degree angle. Left arm is straight. So you get up on an exhale. So start with the breath, ribs start to draw in, abdominals are engaged, then you move. So breath first and then a split second later, movement. Now control it on the way down. So I don't just want you flailing and falling back down to the mat. It's explosive up, controlled down. And 
and rest. Okay, 30 seconds to recover here. Going through that just one more time. All right, grab those heavy weights. Last time through, we will start with our chest press. Pulse coming up or just stay full range? I'm gonna stay full range. <sighs> done. <laughs> okay, we are done using both. Drop down to either one heavy or if you're gonna go a little lighter, find that lighter weight for me. It is gonna be in your right hand. We'll start with that narrow press with that tricep work. Narrow press, tricep work. Again, if you need any guidance for that elbow, you can always use your other hand lightly on the back of the arm. I don't know if you can see my dog. She's, <laughs> hi Pickles. All right, we're gonna finish with just that little tricep dip here, 15 seconds. So if your elbow bothers you, just a note, check where it is. If it's kind of over your rib cage and you're doing the dip there, that's gonna bother, rest. That's gonna bother your elbow. Make sure you bring it back so that it's more over your shoulder and then do the pulse from there and that should feel better. All right, keep the weight in your right arm. We have that get up, that ab get up. Extend your left leg long, left arm is down to the side. Looking up at the weight is gonna help you keep it stacked over your shoulder. Rest. All right, we got those two moves in the left arm. So we will start with that narrow press so with the tricep work, both knees can be bent, both feet flat on the mat. Narrow, tricep. Finish with just the tricep. Bend an inch or two, straighten. Rest. All right, one move to go, and then we're done with our circuit work. We'll finish with that Tabata. Left hand still has the weight. We are gonna do that ab get up. Left arm is straight, right leg straight. And let's go. Exhale. Oh, I'm on my mic cord. Rest. 
Final 15 seconds. And done. Awesome job. Okay, you have a minute to recover. I'm going to show you our Tabata. No equipment needed for your Tabata, and we are going to keep it low impact, so no jumping either. Pretty simple. We're going to alternate between push-ups and then a swimmer in a prone position. When we're doing that swimmer, I'm going to keep my legs down, so it's just the upper half that's going to be in that spinal extension, fluttering my arms up and down. If you would like to hover the legs as well, be my guest. For the push-ups, now, I don't want you to rush them. We're not going so quick through them that they get sloppy, but we want a little bit of speed. You want to be able to get a good handful of reps in in the 20 seconds. So I'm going to opt to do them from my knees. That being said, if you have a strong push up, do them from your feet. 20 seconds of work, 10 seconds of rest. There are eight intervals. We'll alternate between the two. Let's do it. Okay, push ups to start. Spread out through your fingers, shoulders stacked over wrists. And let's go. Elbows go back at a 45 degree angle. Ooh, after those heavy chest presses, these are not easy. Rest. All right, you're gonna come down onto your stomach. Legs can be hips distance apart. Arms are extended forward. Brace through your abdominals. Find spinal extension, so you're at a hover, and then it's a swimmer. So one hand taps the floor, and then the next. Your gaze is slightly forward, but you're not craning the neck. So this is a long shape. It's not necessarily a super high shape. Rest. All right, we go back to those push-ups. So we're kind of doing back side of the body, front side of the body in this. Spread out through those fingers. Let's go. Push-ups. Now you'll notice I have my heels in towards my bum. It's just going to bring you kind of off of the kneecap. So I find that more comfortable. But if you would rather keep your shins down on the mat, that is an option too. Rest. Oh. All right, come right down onto your stomach. Neutral pelvis. So you need to engage through your abdominals on this one. Press the tops of your feet into the mat. Find that spinal extension and swimmer. Arms moving up and down. So the lift here is coming from your mid back, kind of right at the base of your shoulder blades, not really your low back. Rest. All right, halfway there. All right, push ups. Let's do it. Inhale down, exhale, push the mat away. Squeeze through your glutes and quads for me. Legs are active. Oh. Rest. So hard to do after those heavy chest presses. Swimmer. Neutral through the low back. Lift up. If it is too much with your arms extended out, you can do this with the elbows cactus, and then you don't, you can just hold the lift for me, up to you. And your arms aren't super narrow here. If they're too narrow, you're gonna shrug your shoulders up. Rest. Okay, just one more time through the two, we got this. Last round of push-ups. Let's go. My goal is at least five because I'm struggling hard here. Even from my knees after all those circuit work. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Rest. That last one I think only counts as half of a rep. Swimmer to finish. Let's go. Find that spinal extension. Is a long shape, maintaining the connection to your abdominals. So if you're only feeling this in your low back, your pelvis probably isn't at neutral. You might be a little too high and you're probably not connected to your abdominals. 
and done. Awesome job. Press back into a child's pose. Take a few breaths here. I'm going to bring you through a quick cool down. Now staying on your knees, I want you to just walk your arms forward and your hips are gonna slide forward so that they're kind of stacked over the knees and forehead can be down on the mat. From here, I want you to bend the elbows, hands come together kind of like a prayer position and just bring the hands behind your head so we get a nice opening through the backs of the arms here. A little tricep stretch. When you're ready, palms down on the mat, press yourself up into a tabletop position. We're going to do a little spinal twist and a thread the needle. So on an inhale, I want you to take your left elbow, open twist up towards the ceiling. And as you exhale, you're going to thread the needle and bring the side of your cheek down onto the mat. Now take your right arm and I want you to walk it forward. And just stay here, breathe into that mid back area. When you're ready, you're going to walk that right hand in. One more counter twist, left elbow up towards the ceiling. Come through tabletop and then let's just do the other side. So now your right elbow lifts up, open twist, and then thread the needle right under left. And take your left arm and walk it forward. If you don't feel this through your back and in the shoulder blade area, you might need to take that bottom shoulder and just scoot it away from your ear a little bit. And then you kind of lean back slightly. Walking your left hand in, let's take one more counter twist. You're gonna press up, right elbow up towards the ceiling. And then come into your tabletop and pause here. So we're gonna get a bit of a stretch for the forearms. I want you to flip the direction of your palms so that the fingers point in towards your knees. Now, this might be a deep enough stretch as is. If not, I want you to just slightly shift your weight back till you find that sort of sweet spot for you. A nice opening through the forearms and into the biceps. And then just hold here for a second and breathe. Again, you wanna feel the stretch, but you don't want it to be too intense. So staying stacked might give you enough stretch as is. Don't feel like you have to rock back. One hand at a time, you're just gonna flip the palms back and let's come into a comfortable seated position. To start, let's just do a fluid side bend. So you're just going to tent the fingers wide and then that right arm is gonna sweep up and over to the left and then just take it up and over, other direction. So just kind of move fluidly in a way that feels good. Don't overthink it. One more each side. And then let's just come up through center. And let's finish with one deep breath together. On an inhale, arms are gonna sweep up overhead. And exhale, release. Awesome work today, that is your class.